Hey, welcome friends. Welcome back in Nuts's Nook. Today I'm going to go ahead and redo a batch of, um, it's like a Fox, um, KFC chicken bowl. So I just got to be on a plate. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to bring it down here. Anybody that's watched any of my videos knows I make my own brown gravy. I'll show you how to do that. I have my own canned corn here that I just got to start in the pan. But I'll bring it down here and show you what I'm doing. So anyways, I'll go ahead and dump this in. I got some butter right there. And with that, dump that in. And that's corn that I actually um, can myself. A little bit of salt and pepper. And that will get started here. This all, this all pulls together very quickly. My husband, he came home a little bit early, believe it or not. And... Um, he started the chicken nuggets for me while I was working. I'm on break right now, so this is a good time to start dinner. So I have a video that does the brown gravy mix. And you do two of the tablespoons per cup. Now this is actually two cups of water in here. And I'll use my handy dandy frother that I always use. Spread that flour out just a little bit. Go ahead and stir that up. Now, always, as you can tell, oh, there's a big old piece right there. Um, always, it's always a good, nice, creamy tan color. However, I like more of a brown like you'd get from packaged gravy. My mom always used this stuff. I use this to brown to put the darker color in here. Just a few little. It doesn't take very long much to go ahead and do that. And go ahead and see how nice and brown that turns out just really quick. I cannot believe this. It helps when you start with all hot water. Anyways, that that is already almost all the way done. Let me. Get the handle here and see how nice and thick when this was already really hot water and I put the water on to boil as I was getting things around. That gravy is like pretty much done. So I turn down this, turn down this because this will finish cooking with the heat from the electric stove. And I'm bringing you over to the island and do the potatoes all right you guys know i've been using these little um beads of the potatoes and i have the boiling hot water from my sink and i'm gonna go ahead and pour some in here i have realized that the hotter the water this is this actually just comes right you know that all the beads will actually go ahead and like melt and I like the beads, but I don't like the beads. I like how the beads actually make it more potato-y, if that makes any sense, like, like a real potato. And then I'm going to go ahead and put just a small dollop of sour cream in here. Put the lid back on here. Move this over. And then I was putting my... Uh, milk into some smaller containers today. Just put a little bit of milk in there and you guys know I don't measure my potatoes. I don't measure my water or my milk. It's when I feel happy with it is how it ends up being. And because the gravy came together way faster than I had expected it to. Now see the potatoes just came out. I mean obviously put little bit of salt and pepper or something in there I mean this would be like seriously I mean this tastes like fresh potatoes but let me go ahead and get a plate out and we'll get this plated up for you alrighty so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is do like some of the potatoes my husband's here I'll let him make his own because you know he likes to make his own once in a while now normally I would cut these chicken nuggets in half I'm going to still cut mine in half. He's not going to cut his in half. But I'm going to go ahead and cut you mine in half. He'll have more of the chicken nuggets. And what he doesn't, 
when he doesn't eat tonight, can go to lunch with him at some point. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of the corn on this. It doesn't matter in which order you put this, obviously. And then re-stir back up the gravy. Now, I like a lot of gravy with this. My husband doesn't like as much gravy, but I like a lot of gravy. Because, like I said, I don't care for dry food. So, And then you're going to go ahead and just top that off with a little bit of cheese. And then, there you go. I mean, this meal comes together, I mean, super quick. Um, obviously, the chicken nuggets were from the freezer. The rest of this is from my pantry. Um, so this makes another good, fast, half, you know, really good pantry meal. Um, like I said, I've been trying to do this all week, and then we'll just continue making things out of the freezer and the pantries. And thank you very much for stopping by. And uh, if you get a chance, sometime make that for yourself. So have a very blessed, wonderful day.